Today's Thursday, the 10th day of November 2011. I'm Ryan Knows Tech from our tech blog, techinformed.us, and I want to talk about an update today that Apple released for the iPhone, the iPad, and the iPod. Uh, it's iOS 5.0.1. This has been uh, actually pretty heated over the last couple weeks since we saw the original iOS 5.0.0. Uh, just about a month ago, and it looks like the big update of, or the big feature of this big update is going to be improved battery life. When I first got my iPhone 4 uh, S, my battery life was maybe 75% as good as the iPhone 4, meaning it was three quarters as good. It was not as good. Uh, a couple weeks into it, maybe I had changed some setting, and uh, it was about 125% as good, so it was just a little better than the iPhone 4. Uh, I've only had this update now for maybe two hours. The entire OS seems to be faster. I was talking to Colt. Uh, he says things feel faster in the camera app. I haven't really had a, a lot of time to play with the camera app yet. I'm in there right now, uh, switching back and forth between pictures and video, and that does seem to be quicker. So it looks like uh, you're going to see speed improvements as well as, hopefully, battery improvements in this update. It's for the iPhone 4S, the iPhone 4, the iPhone 3GS. Not everything is going to work on the 4 and 3GS, I will add. The iPad 2, the iPad 1, and then the iPad iPod Touch third and fourth generations. I also have a tab open here in Mac Rumors. They put a little bit more information. They actually have direct links for the downloads here. So if you're looking for the .ipsw, I'm presuming that's what it would be, of iOS 5.0.1, you're going to be able to find it there. I'll put both links down below. It's about 50 megabytes, and this is going to be exercising one of the main features of iOS 5. Point X, whatever you're going to be using, is the over-the-air update. You no longer need to plug into iTunes, download a whole 700 meg OS, and then restore the device and then restore from the backup. From whatever device you have, you can actually go into the settings application. From there, it is under general and then software update. Mine took about 20 seconds sitting there saying checking for updates or whatever, and then it found, I think it was about 55 megabytes, iOS 5.0.1. It gives us some information about what it does. You click download, it downloads it, and then installs it right from the device. Excluding the two minutes it took to download, it was about a 10 minute process. Maybe a little bit less. So not bad at all. Real easy to do. You're not going to lose any data, have to sync anything back to it. It was a very seamless process. One of the updates to the iPad 1 that I know a lot of people uh, will enjoy is the fact that they brought multi-touch gestures to it. Um, well, in the respect, you can use, for example, five fingers on the iPad to close an application. Four fingers up on the display opens uh, the, the little menu. If you double hit the home button, that's what you get. Uh, switching, you can switch back and forth between applications with five fingers. So those gestures are now available on the iPad one. I don't know why they weren't before, but this update will enable that on the original iPad. So that'll be nice. There's everything that the update does as far as we know so far. Actually, it resolves some bugs with documents in the cloud and some voice recognition for Australian uh, users using dictation. And uh, that looks like everything. Uh, if there's anything profound in the next few days with battery life or problems or anything like that, I'll make an update video to this. However, I do not expect that happening. These uh, final uh, releases of iOS 5 seem to be very stable and quick, and I've, I've been pretty happy with it. But then again, I am on a dual-core A5. So uh, leave your experiences with updating and your thoughts and all your rants down below, and I'll respond to those accordingly. Thank you very much for watching the video. Be sure to check out our site. we got some new posts up today, and we have a survey. It's very vital that anybody who reads our site answer the survey. It's very, very important. Uh, techinform.us, those links are below. My Twitter is twitter.com slash jamesrschultz. You can follow me there and creep on me anytime you like. And I will talk to you guys if I make video tomorrow on Friday, then, or if not, have a phenomenal weekend, and I'll talk to you on Monday. Bye-bye.